you know, we had some businesses who were very, very strong that they wanted to keep business as it is. We had people on the other side who said, no, let's just throw out uh, all of the requirements of non-compete. Uh, we have to get legislation passed, and I look at it as my role as speaker, and others may have different philosophies, to see if we can get something that doesn't just grab a headline, but gets a bill passed. And I felt the way to do this was to get all parties and to talk to both sides and to see if there was some type of middle ground uh, that they could both live with and, and support. And quite frankly, after many hours, not only of myself, but uh, Chairman Seibag mm. and Chairman Dempsey and a whole host of other folks who were involved as well, they did just that. They, you know, they were able to get businesses, and it's not just big business, it's business in, in, in general, who make a very big investment sometimes, you know, with some of their employees. And there are other considerations why these agreements are necessary. On the other hand, you don't want to make them so ridiculous as mm -hmm. they are right now in terms of having, uh, you know, a sub, sub shop delivery person have to sign a non-compete. That's absurd. So what we did at the end of the day, we felt very strongly after d spending hours discussing this with all parties, that all parties came together and supported uh, the House um, legislation. Um, things changed, uh, you know, in terms of what had happened um, in the Senate, and unfortunately, at the end of the day, we weren't, we weren't able to uh, uh, get it done.